Welcome back, everyone, to Hearts of Iron 4, the Fire Rises mod, which I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and uh, we're looking at the world. It's August 1st, 2024, and we're trying to inspire the youth of Germany. Um, we've got a couple of comms to go through. We're going to continue going on from now as the world's falling apart. Uh, I guess last time, it's been a, a, a day or two since I've actually recorded this. We've got our tank division here, hanging out, having a good old time. Uh, let's see what we can do here. You know what, just in case, we'll ex extend this down. Um, but some comments include, such as, Russia going communist means you're going to go the uh, fascist route, apparently, um, with, when the European war starts, which, well, when it starts, it starts. Could go the green future. We could do this one, too, but we're going to wait. Um, so if some farming development, it would be nice. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, what do we want? All on our own. We could do that. I don't know why we can... Oh, we can bypass that, or calm down the radicals. Well, we bypass this anyways. We don't get anything from it. And we go this way, get more popularity, party, popularity for the AFD, more public trust, more stability, and more political power. We're going to calm down the radicals first, I guess. Because why not? We've got quite a bit of popular support and formation of the East Asia Defensive Initiative. Recently, at the Shanghai International Convention Center, a number of heads of state gathered, with those notable being the host of President of China himself in recent months. Not only have Chinese foreign ministers chartered planes flown across Asia, but ambassadors have also been visiting the foreign ministries of host countries more frequently, seeing their endorsement to join the Chinese-led alliance of Asian countries today. The efforts of Chinese diplomats have finally paying off. The East Asia Defense Initiative, a concept that has been on paper, was now a reality. The meeting was marked by elaborate Chinese ceremonial events, the highlight of which was, of course, the signing ceremony on the Bund. There was also a focus on the potential for significant changes in the regional political landscape. The creation of the EADI was a clear response to the Japanese-led PD. In addition, the motives of many of the member states are also noteworthy. Besides military cooperation, economic factors played a crucial role in the decision, especially since China is still heavily investing in the Belt and Road Initiative. The creation of the EADI has undoubtedly once again raised the possibility of a large-scale war breaking out in Asia. Today, we can only rely on the sanity and restraint of policymakers on both sides to maintain peace to the most densely populated region on Earth. Asia in the 21st century is becoming more and more similar to Europe in 1914. We're not doing well here. We can sort of break our armor. Um... But we're here for the experience, that's right. Another comment is, uh, you should not have assumed leadership of NATO because apparently France gets benefits. The leadership of France gets benefits for leading NATO, so. Someone says, I played as Germany only to be able to put the AFD in power. So much fun. Someone says, please do the SPD, or at least Union of America. I'll probably play all these routes at some point. That's probably the big plan. Um, so, someone says, just play this, it's pretty fun. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty uh, exciting mod. Apparently this mod has, oh, oh, industry development increases, very good. That's good. I'm not sure where that is, but okay. Um, someone said, uh, what was it? Because of the route we chose? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I think I already said it, maybe. I can't remember anymore. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind. We got modular transportation, though. It's 2024. Um, anti air, anti tank. Let's grab that one first. Yeah. Union America is probably going to win. The Amer APLA probably will win the coming storm from the east. He'd been over these plans a thousand times before, but now everything was now tormenting him took over at another thousand. Over and over and over again, he looked at the same information to the same effect. Battle plans, newspaper clippings, intelligence reports, estimations, and other predictions from every branch of the German military kept driving him mad. General Wienemann, no matter how hard he tried to prepare, could not escape the inevitable fact that everywhere he looked, the Russians were coming. He'd seen it everywhere from the TV reports to information he was getting from his own office and the Ministry of Defense. The Russians were preparing for something. He was certain of it. The Donbass, Belarus, the maneuvers in the West, and the exercises in Central Asia. It was all pointed to one ominous conclusion. The Russians would soon strike west, and he was afraid that Germany was totally unprepared for it. No matter how many recruits were inducted or multinational exercises were conducted, he felt that it all did not matter in the end. All the Americans were gone, the thousands of soldiers and base, divisions based in Europe were sent home to fight in America. The mighty global superpower had fled Europe to tend to its own demise. Would these countries in NATO's eastern flank even stand a chance? Would they only be capable of simply buying time for the west? Perhaps these former communist countries of the east would, gleefully, uh, would be gleeful for a chance to die fighting the Russians once more, but that is not how his countrymen saw it. Is Germany up to the challenge? Would all of the preparation and training be worth it? Can Germany survive this onslaught? Probably not. This is what happened Professor Vienna meant every day in his Berlin office. He now just sat and brooded over these terrible revelations to himself with the same mess of reports always cluttering his desk. Today was no different. He just kept reading over the same rehashed conclusions but from newly printed reports sent in the morning. At this point, it was almost like a form of madness. But he knew he was not alone in the sentiments. The entire German army was terrified what it would soon be striking the European continent. This normalized routine that he had made for himself within the last month or so was the only thing he had energy for these days. Putting down the last intelligence reports from Russia, he sighed, and began staring at the ceiling. He then muttered under his breath the only thing he could think of at the moment. God help Germany, because who else will? Also, oh, there was the other comment. Uh, Brussels exists as the e Brussels European Commission, but Belgium is dead. Belgian Restoration Front. 
capital of Europe. <sighs> Hello, Captain Amalia. Great, now we're great NATO unity. Okay, so yeah, thank you for noticing that. It's the way it should be. Sorry, Taki Senpai. But yeah, uh, we were trying to make divisions. Um, we never had enough mechanized or mechanized or back main battle tanks. So light mechanized. Are we using mecha light mechanized? So you guys are using infantry brigades. Uh, using mechanized Panzer brigades. Mechanized. You're not using any light mechanized. So we're gonna go to the bottom one. And what are we making here? Because we are making a lot of money now at this point, which is great. Someone says our inflation is too high, and you're right, it is too high. I hate how high our inflation is. But once we have no debt, then we'll be okay, right? Is that how it works? Sure, train for now, too. Now he's very experienced, at least. At least he's learning something. Battle of Denver. Ground forces loaded. Donald Trump have confirmed the city of Denver has been fallen under the control. I would say they probably lost it initially first. But who am I? A lot of time, energy farm, nuclear research. Probably not what we really need. Outside of contracts. I don't like the upkeep cost, but whatever. Just keep building for now. Honestly, with everything going on, it's probably too late. But let's start building up some military factories. Maybe. Well, we've already almost maxed out whatever we can here. How long will it take? December 14th. And RC of Victoria's in East Africa. Oh, okay. East Africa. Well, oh. All right. Whatever. Asia is looking more whole with China. Oh. Bakia. Bakia? Pakistan and India are killing each other. Pretty normal. A uh, few games from refiners. A few games from refiners. What else we got here? Improved light tanks. Gen, uh, Gen 3 sites. Hard kill. Uh, I guess we can do this one. High explosive fire. High explosive anti tank fin stabilized. We're killing each other here. So, another comment was saying that, uh, comment down the radicals. Germany above all. When a field of manpower is at least 3.5% of our total population, public trust weekly goes up by 0.2. Oh. Deutschland. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Um, but yeah, that's too high. But don't worry, we'll lower the inflation. Once we're all done with that stuff. Every man counts, because every man counts. Uh, it's alright, we got rid of the SPD. Um, Bam party, negotiate support. Well, we're at 100%. I guess FDP, lobby against the party? I guess. Why not? Party popular support. Support. We'll get rid of these guys, and there's that. What else can we do here? Uh, let's see, recovery would be nice. Cavalry? Special Force Attack and Defense, Combine Arms. You get Motorized, Mechanized Attack and Defense. I like the Recovery Rate too. Let's go with you. Happy November 1st. Oh, you can only make one. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie. And I think we were also trying to increase the size of these divisions too. And you're cut off from here anyways. We wanted another main battle tank, but we don't want to add too much more to uh, lose too much more organization. Infantry fighting vehicles. So, so let's reset that. What if we added another mechanized? Or APC. Motorized. Or I guess technically infantry fighting vehicle then. Which one's better? Infantry fighting vehicle. Organization goes up by one. Or 0 0.9. In this case, it'll go up by what? The same amount. Well, if it goes up by the same amount, and the stats are better overall for infantry fighting vehicles, and gives you more hardness, gives you more piercing than the other one, why would we not choose this one? It's because we can't make enough mechanized, that's why. This gives you actually more HP, though. 10 more breakthrough. Ooh. 274, 271. It's the same armor mount. This gives you slightly more hardness. Slightly more soft attack. APCs. Do we have any APCs? Equipment's fine. Command is fine. Armor personnel carriers. I'm not sure. Uh, 
Let's go with that. We at least have a few in reserve for now, right? Maybe not. Do that. What else are we missing here now? Main battle tanks, mechanized, APCs. We don't have any APCs. Air train, advanced artillery, rocket artillery, improved man portable air defense systems. Armored personnel carriers. Oh, there's those guys. Uh, well then, maybe that was a mistake. Main battle tanks, reconnaissance. APC, yeah. Fennec. Oh, yeah, these are the... Oh, so these are considered Gen 3 light. Okay. That's fine. So now we have you. You're only 14 combat with, unfortunately. self propelled motorized infantry fighting vehicles in the Volpalman here. 32 combat with, which is not bad. About 30, 32 ish is okay. Speed's okay. It's not great by any means. You guys do not get reinforcements, but whatever. Not bad, they're still trying though. Yeah, there's just six percent. So Germany above all. And that's nice to say, but calls for European unity. Line of the right. We'll see. Oh, uh, what do we want next? Well Best in R and D, I should have known this one. Uh, if Germany's ever done one thing right, it's invent new technology. Tanks, air anti aircraft, aircraft, anti tank. We pioneered in every field and we'll continue to do so. Slide, Ryan Metal, another check, and that new Leopard upgrade, perhaps? Or that new Leopard upgrade package? That's promising. Multi roll, airframes, improved unmanned air. That's nice and all, but we're going to continue with this one. Yeah, you might as well. Ah, boom, 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 whatever, for now. Yes, please. Not sure we'll get that far, but we'll see. Jesus. Yeah, might as well. But like I said, uh, I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I mean, this is still my starter campaign to see how everything goes sideways. There you go, pretty good. How are we doing? We need another, another factory. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. Stabilize good. Put these tanks. Uh, light tanks. Gen 4. Let's see. Production output, yes. I don't want to hurt, give us any nerfs at all. Build, build, build. A lobby against this party popularity. Oh, we need a little more power for this one. That's alright, because we have other things we need to do here too. Um, what do we want? More construction speed output would be nice. Out a lot more output would be nice. More construction speed period would be nice. Poverty development. Service of people. What do we do here? Get more army XP gain. That's pretty good too. I like that one. Um, and that only costs command power. Here though, I wouldn't mind just getting some flat construction speed. Just working on build, 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 build. Because the monster of the east is going to come breathing down our neck soon enough. Conservative Party secures victory in UK elections in a closely contested race. The Conservative Party has emerged victorious in the highly anticipated UK elections. With a hard fought campaign of convincing mandate from voters across the country, the Tories, somehow, has secured another German power, promising stability and prosperity for the Britain or the Brits in the coming years. The election results will reflect the electorate's confidence in the Conservative Party's ability to navigate the complex challenges facing the nation. Voters have put their faith in the Tories' proven track record of economic management and the commitment to delivering on the promises. The party's victory desires, or signifies their desire, for continuity and recognition of the progress made under their leadership in previous terms. It's not over. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we're winning the battle because they are sucking right now. Yay! Great job, guys. We can be on the offensive.
We're getting there, guys. And they'll tackle inflation next. Hans is learning a lot, even though Donald Trump is losing the war really badly against Reds and the Union and all of them over there. So It is what it is. I guess we can hire another one of these guys here, too. Screens. I don't think the Navy's going to be that important for us to really focus on. Oh, the American Constitutional Government. Who are you? Bombs are going off in Wisconsin. It's all right. Oh, well, duh, you're American Constitutional Government. Oh, you're just hanging out there in West Virginia. Yeah, that would be probably god-awful to try to take. But then again, if they have no one just, like, there at all, it won't be too hard then. Oh, look at that. We're NATO Western Doctrine. Eastern Doctrine. Korean National... Oh. Uh oh. Asymmetric warfare. Speed, planning speed, C31. Well, yeah, let's use some of that doctrine. China's invasion of Myanmar. In a stunning development following the victory of the People's Defense Forces in Myanmar Civil War, China has launched a military invasion of the Southeast Asian nation. Beijing has come forward to announce that the invasion comes after continuous raids and incursions into Chinese territory during and after the Civil War. However, many geopolitical experts have agreed that the invasion was instead to safeguard China's strategic interests within the region. I have decided on the need to protect its borders and safeguard stability in the region. China's military forces cross into Myanmar territory, advancing towards key strategic locations. And the sudden invasion has set shockwaves across the international community, raising fears of a wider regional conflict and humanitarian crisis. Asia descends further into endless war. So that's actually kind of cool. You the Japanese colors. Pacific Defense Treaty Organization versus East Asia Defense Initiative. You have Australia, of course, and you have all these rings, but they're not that great. Indonesia is okay and whatnot, but, you know... We're really gearing up for another big old fat war here, y'all. We'll get there. Oh, we only have 15 divisions. We tried very hard. I'm trying to recruit more and more, but you know. There's only so much you can produce, really. What is this? Improve. Oh, uh, improve carrier. Yeah. Improve multi roll. Do you not have. Oh, you have nothing on here. Oh, crap. Twin engines. Well, we'll get there when we get there. I don't know what you can really do about it right now. Should have not spent all that air XP, my bad. We're investing in R&D, though. Improve the Eurocopter. Mm, military development, federalization. Yeah, make some better organization. Defender Europe is a concept drawn up by a high command that involves a large scale. Bundeswehr-led multinational joint exercise designed to prepare Europe for a future war with adversaries abroad. If for none other than Russia, not only would this plan build a more Bundeswehr and reinvigorate confidence within European militaries, it would build interoperability, readying Europe for joint military action in future conflicts. If accepted, it was a structure European military exercises around the Bundeswehr, giving us an opportunity to show the competency and efficiency of our army to the world. Auto loaders, not bad. Gen 3 sites, we don't really have to have these ones. One mind maybe improve command equipment or something here. Logistics, freight trains, um, Reese Infantry, uh, I guess we're using this, maybe. Agility is okay. I don't, I don't mind getting more in, better engineers, though. Oh, God, we're surrounded around St. Louis. God. I'm not sure why you're trying to assault right now. That doesn't make any sense to me. But we're going to go in with you, I guess. Yep, there goes those people. How much debt do we have? Monthly income change. That's nice. It's not bad, but <clears throat> military factories come first right now. Because we don't have enough of them. Sorry, market liberals. Um, what's after this? Revive the Deutsche Marine. Reinforced army. Egyptian drought. The storm is coming. Academic development increases, which is good. Refined air land combat. Well, refined German doctrine. Uh, this would be cool, uh, but we're not using Eastern doctrine. Refined air land doctrine. Air land battles is a strategic concept that formed the basis of the United States military command doctrine in Europe from the early 80s to the late 90s. It emphasizes close coordination between land and air forces to pin, outmaneuver, and destroy enemy combat forces, especially ones constricted to the ground. While this concept has been pre prevalent within the Bundeswehr and Luftwaffe, it is slowly becoming a less refined concept with equipment gradually phasing out of modernization. Through upgrading equipment, enhanced operational strategies, and incorporating advanced technologies such as UAS and cyber warfare, we can refine our airland battle doctrines. Hopefully, it matters. 
develop defensive capabilities. As we build up or rebuild our military capabilities, we should also divert attention to our industry. Factories across the nation lie desolate, neglected, and unkept, uh, with barely any military factories being constructed or retooled. We should revitalize German domestic production, especially in the military, to prepare ourselves for future conflict. Advanced. Ah. Do we need these? Well, it would be pretty, probably pretty beneficial to have these in our divisions. Um... There's that. Black Panzer. I guess we can get this one too. Because we can. Because why not? 2024. New guns, please. Very short coming, so uh, very short morale. I'll probably go to the eh, morale's okay, commander's okay, cavalry's okay as well. Build, 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 build. Good. Then what? Embrace the future of warfare. Modernize a leopard. Well, that wouldn't be too bad. Construct new dockyards, focus on trade and interdiction. I like this one. D develop domestic capabilities. We need one of these. F-35 program. With the revitalization of the German army, we should also pivot attention to the Luftwaffe, a branch of our armed forces which is critically underfunded, undersupplied, and neglected, despite the importance of an air force in modern warfare, particularly the F-35 Lightning II, a staple of American engineering genius as well as arguably the most successful self fighter program in human history. Using an influx of American military engineers fleeing the country due to the Civil War, blueprints as well as the stockpiles across Europe, we'll acquire our own set of F-35s, investing in our industry and workers, as well as bolstering a military-industrial complex. This decision will make it clear that the F-35 is the right choice for Germany. Look at all, I got another division. Wow. A whole one more. I hope I can replace all these losses eventually. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Now, then we'll need to go to all that stuff there, too. So, how are we doing here? Oh, you're fighting Rebs. Get used to it. Alright, so we got we've only three parties left. Holy crap. Um, a lobby against party. So bad. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm probably going to go this one next. We need 165 political power, which is good. Trade and economy, pay it off. That's my only claim to fame. I was able to pay off the debt, maybe. Sri Lanka joins the EAI, EADI. Sri Lanka has announced its decision, its decision to join the East Asian Defense Initiative, a military alliance led by China. The move has raised concerns among some analysts who see it as a further sign of Sri Lanka's increasing alignment with China and its growing estrangement from India and its allies. Sri Lankan officials have said that the decision to join the EADI was motivated by a desire to enhance the country's security and to promote cooperation with its regional powers and partners. Out of the influx of Indian refugees following the violence of the Indian Civil War, Sri Lanka suffered from extreme instability as economic depression was worsened by the refugee inflow. As part of their entry into the EADI, China would supply Sri Lanka with much needed aid as well as military equipment and training in order to stabilize the nation. The announcement was made after weeks of talks between Chinese and Sri Lankan diplomats in the city of Colombo. The move by Sri Lanka to join the EADI comes amid growing concerns over China's expanding presence in the Indian Ocean, where it's been invested heavily in the infrastructure projects and established a naval base in the southern port of Hamtbantota. Sri Lanka's decision is likely to further strain its relations with India, which has been critical of China's growing influence in the region. The move by Sri Lanka is part of a broader trend of countries in the region, including Laos and Nepal, aligning themselves with China in response to growing uncertainties over Indian policy and the shifting balance of power in the region. A thorn in India's side. We're doing whatever we can here to be successful. That's nice, but we're going to continue to make it, well, if we can, a military factory, which means we can lower you. Doing that. There we go. Maybe we should have built some more infrastructure first, but whatever. It's alright. It's only 2025. That I'd rather have... 50% inflation and what we're doing right now. It's okay. So, debt payments, 1.6 billion per month, which is not bad. Engineering company two is very good. Social spending, mm. imports, mm. eventually I do want to lower taxes as well. 
but main goal, effects from recurrent debt, stability, just keeps going up, it's great. Uh, recon, military police, maintenance, I don't know what we're using here, command, freight train twos, uh, let's get some of this stuff. Good. Another two divisions, yay! Absolutely will not be able to replace these divisions once we go to war, but whatever. We'll try our best. We'll give the old Rambler a try. Ah. Guide the army. Sure. Why not? And... The income is okay. Ooh. Let's get that one next. Even though we want to build more factories, this one's still good to do too. Holding out there. Becoming a trickster. A hill spider. How much have we actually learned? Eh, you're 94% towards getting level uh, 4, which is good. Modernized Leopard. Leopard 2, a third generation main battle tank, is considered the Bundeswehr's magnum opus. It considered one of our finest works of engineering, yet, despite these high qualifications, most Leopard 2 models have been left neglected, falling short in technical updates and being completely out of date. We should begin refining these models, preparing to modernize the Leopard 2 through enhancing armor, implementing a firepower upgrades in the main gun, such as a larger caliber, more advanced rifled or smoothbore gun, and integrating advanced fire control systems, incorporating thermal imaging, laser range finders, or ballistic computers for increased accuracy and target acquisition, implementing digital architecture, improving engine and mobility, as well as improving the active protection systems. If the Leopard is a tank of the future, this must be reflected in its design. Lose a little bit of money, but you know what? I'm okay with that. We make enough money every month, it doesn't matter. And then we can purge extremist soldiers. But why would we do that? Turn a blind eye. Why should we exempt extremists from our armed forces? Why are they not the most dedicated to German defense? No, they set the reports, set the reports aside. A free society should be defended by all of its citizens, even those with unsavory opinions. More attack, more authoritarian Democrat support, maybe more <clears throat> F-word support, fascist support. And then we'll embrace the future warfare. That's what we want, too. Patriotic duty, more organization, recovery rate, war support, monthly military development. That's the route we want. That's the organization last one moving, very good. Bundeswehr, it's looking better. It's looking a lot better than what it used to be. So, oh, how's this sport going? We have very high trust. We're still putting more war sport. We can even more too if we need to. Low taxation? Uh, no. Ah, that's pretty good for construction speed, but now. Oh, uh, it's not bad either. Utilize party support or anti the masses. We're going to tie some asses. Look at all the things we've done for you. Turn a blind eye. I like turning a blind eye. And then, I guess, improve the Eurocopter. We could. You know, I think I want to do Balkan diplomacy. Uh, the Balkans are a strategic and resource rich region, especially Romania, where the oil is absolutely, ne absolutely necessary for our future. Let's improve relations with the Balkan nations. We may make some new friends in doing so versus deal with Visegrad, which I had to look up. The Visegrad group. Visegrad group often finds themselves to be the root of the Eurosceptic movement, feeling under underserved by the EU and acting as a union within a union. We can do more to make Poland and the whole Visegrad group feel more welcome and served. Picture fund of gross ground forces have confirmed the city of Philadelphia has fallen under the control. Oh. Or Balkan diplomacy. Because it does... If you go with this group... Uh, can you do this one? Yeah, you can still do this one no matter what. Set an American policy. But we're not America. Caucasian diplomacy might be the way to go. I think I want that one. Russo-German trade deal? Um. Hey, Russia, how you doing? Let's uh improve relations. Yeah. Yeah, you're market socialists. Yeah, we love what you're doing. Invincible and legendary. Oh God. Um. Well, it's not looking good here. Ooh. Hey, we made another division. Patriot Front, they're still holding on, and they actually got Philadelphia. It's kind of impressive, not going to lie. Uh, you can get that one too. Let's see. Bing, bong, bong. Bing. And you know what? It's hard to tell. Where's the tank? Back helicopters, freight trains, main battle tanks. Oh, improved armor ATGM. Gen 4 main battle tank. Because right now we're using Gen 3 main battle tanks. We need Gen 4. Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4 is down here. We have enough army speed to do this. 
hydraulic suspension. Well, hold on. Let's reset this. Go back. Your torsion bar. Uh, more speed, but less reliability. Sorry, that was the sound of me uh, drinking a ghost uh, energy drink. That was a cream slide, cream slush or something. Rolled homogeneous armor. Ooh, that hurts your armor. Way better stats. Well, maybe not way better, but quite a bit better. Composite armor, cast armor. 50% more production cost. It's not that much more with this engine type. Gasoline versus diesel. I'm going to say gas, vehicle sites, Cold War optical sites, Gen, and B sites. This is going to produce, cost a lot. Oh, what type of gun do we want? Rifled gun. Advanced rifled gun. Modern rifle gun. Wait, Cold War rifle. Smooth bore. Smooth, modern smooth bore. Advanced smooth bore. Rifled barrel. Cold War rifled barrel. Two, three. Three or three. Is he less piercing, more soft attack? I search for speed, though, which I don't like. What is this one? Three man turret? Radio, improved radio. Way more defense and breakthrough, which I like. Special modules, extra ammo storage, entrenchment, breakthrough, less reliability, smoke launchers. Uh, quite a bit more armor. I like more liability. There you go. Special uh Special features. I apologize for taking so What the heck is that? Is that Fauci smoking? Oh, blow compartment. So it's so spec. Design lacks one or more required modules. Special features. Just remove it. Put something else in there. What the frick? Probably can't have more than two, right? Yeah. What the heck? Main armament turret. Oh. Well, we're going to completely reset this. What the heck? I, I apologize for this. Does it require everything to be in there? Extra ammo storage? I don't, I'm not going to use this. Like this. It requires something to be... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Bro... Uh, I don't want to hurt reliability. Uh, smooth bore. I guess you can get more piercing, I guess. It's going to really drag us down quite a bit. Production costs and smoke launchers. Uh, at this point, I want more speed. Of course, I do want more reliability, but still. Wow, that's going to drastically increase the production costs. Now we're good. Gasoline. I'm okay with a hundred. Uh huh. Hundred reliability is good. Speeds are a little slower. But that should be halfway decent. There you go. I'm sorry that took so long. Holy cow. We're not, I know we're not free trade. The 2025 election results. On the 20th of September, the first round of election, federal election results have begun to elect members of the 21st Bundestag of sovereign Germany. Yeah. Makes sense. Import economy, balance trade. I'm going to switch it anyways. I don't know, we just have too much. Society development increases. Oh, look at this. Very good. Oh. Well, there's a National Socialist Movement. Turn a blind eye. You know, you got to do what you got to do. 
Um, a line to the right, we could, but we don't need it yet. This one's going to be important to do. What do we have here? Oh, plain stuff. Okay, so now since we did all the plain stuff, I feel... I feel nothing. Alright, so... Understanding this. Structural elements. We need main armaments. Structural elements, what is this? Agility, less reliability, I don't like that. I don't like less reliability. Vertical takeoff and landing. More agility, but more weight. Delta wing. Main armaments, um, anti-ship, anti -ground, air to ground, air to air. Precision missiles, sounds good to me. Bombs. Air to air. We have ten and a half, you can double it. More anti-air, less agility, more weight. That could be good enough. Defense modules, auto cannons, air attack. Air defense, countermeasures. Short range missiles. Defense modules. Avonics. Night penalty. Eh. I'm kind of okay with what we got here. Improved multi role fighter. So, which one is this one? Here. Basic. Multi role. They're both basic multi role fighters. Improved, basic. I'm not sure what this one is for. It's a bit odd. Okay, well, whatever. Keep making those factories. It's my god, do we need them? Sixty-eight percent. Um, Delinka. Lobby for party. Uh, lobby against party. Probably don't want to lobby against our, our coalition partner for now. All right. So, oh, yeah, there they, there they go. I guess we could try that. Oh, there goes Belarus. Goodbye, Belarus. Cambodia joins the EADI. In a move that could further solidify China's military influence in the region, Cambodia has announced its decision to join the East Asian Defensive Initiative, a collective, initi a collective security alliance led by China. The decision uh, was announced by Cambodian Prime Minister during a meeting with the Chinese Defense Minister in Phnom Penh. The move comes amid growing concerns among Cambodian officials about the country's security situation, particularly with regards to the military aims of India, which has publicly announced its desire to dominate all of Asia. And a statement released after the meeting. The Prime Minister said that Cambodia's membership in the EAID, EADI would help ensure regional stability and promote cooperation between participating countries. The Prime Minister also praised China's role as a responsible and reliable partner in promoting peace and security in the region. Is Ukraine always this large? I guess they always have the Carpathians this way, huh? Huh. Hello. What is this? Transnistrian Soviet Socialist Republic. Communist sends uh, ultimatum to splinter states. Russian communists have culminated their increasingly hostile statements towards what they see as anti-Soviet splinter states by sending in ultimatums where they demand full Sovietization. As they put, to liberate workers of oppressed sisters' republics and give the right to vote in USSR restoration referendum denied by current capitalist regimes. It has been met with overall support inside Russia, many seeing it as the beginning of a new Soviet Union. Cities were draped in red flags and Soviet emblems and pro-unification posters. Many communists at inside attacked nations that pledged allegiance to the USSR and proclaimed that they will fight against their oppressive states. Political and military analysts do not expect for these countries to hold out for long, citing poor army structure and the geopolitical position that makes their struggle of little interest to Western democracies, who are currently tightened by their own problems, won't provide much aid. It seems that these nations might disappear soon enough, making enough pl current political maps obsolete. The red bear roars. We have 104 factories. How many does this France have? Uphold Republican ideals, huh? Welcome back. So they have 140. Why are they bigger than us? The German industry is supposed to be the best in the world. Oh. Oh, those Kazakhs decided. Oh, fine, we'll flip. Well then. Young Soviet Republic. Oh boy. What do we got here? They have 252. How are we supposed to compete against that? Hold up. Dashdikistan. Oh, you flipped over too. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it, definitely. 
2027, it's 2025. Construction speed, yes. What do we got here? Robotics assisted logistics, very nice. How are they doing over here? Union of America. Well, I'd rather support you well, than APLF. American socialism. Americanist socialism. Oh, it's going to be a red road, isn't it? Oh, boy. 90. Oh. Michael Bloomberg. Oh, my God. Shadow dictator. What happened to Joe? It's so Jover. Stakeholder economy. We have, wait, a low corporate influence. But we have a corporate government. Uh, Joe Biden. Why? Quelled civilian unrest. Their war support's pretty bad. Negative 62%. 9%, 60%. And you guys have negative 12%. Managerial society. Political cornucopia. Second continental army. Well, we're here to watch your career with great interest. All right, what are we doing now? Eurocopter's okay. This is okay. New doctor's okay. Um, call for European unity. In time of strife and fighting is not just useless, it's self-destructive. Tantamount amount of self-sabotage. We as Europeans and freedom love and people must stand as one. I love freedom enough. Nepal joins EADI. Only recently become a communist state within the past few years, Nepal has stood at, in a nervous position between the two superpowers of China and India. Following 10 years of civil war, Maoists and Marxist Leninists overthrew the monarchy and established a federal republic, which continues to rule Nepal to this day. Unlike many Marxist Leninist proletarian dictatorships, the Communist Party of Nepal is dedicated to its line of people's multi party democracy. As such, its policies remain much more flexible than Marxist orthodoxy, retaining friendly ties between both China and India. However, with the withdrawal of Indian foreign direct investment and tourism following the rise of the Bharatian regime and nuclear war, the Nepalese government has turned to China for security. Harkening back to the 2015 Nepal blockade where India attempted to destroy unrest amongst its Indian population in southern Nepal, the government once again fears that the ultra avantage government in Delhi will include Nepal in its list of territories that it wishes to bring under greater India. Maoists working with China? Hmm. We're almost there, guys. Our debt. Oh, I forgot to get you. Or you. Problem is almost over. Wait, hold on. Uzbekistan is holding up to. At least they're trying to. Well, we tried. This back Soviet Socialist Republic. Oh, they became communists, but they still rebelled. They're having fun in the Middle East, too. Build. What is this? Mobilizer of Patriots. Weekly war sport goes up, which would be good. Thirteen Democrat support. Been removed. Ah. Oh. Good. Looking better. Need more gen armor. Way more tanks. Need a lot of things here. Attack craft, huh? So you're Cass. You're the tornado. Multi roll airframe. So. You're. Oh, so this is basic multi roll airframe, but this is actually our Cass. Okay. Good to know. Do we get any ships? No. Are ships even doing anything? Oh, well, there's lots of buzz on then. I don't think you'll last very long. Uh. Bayon? Air assault. I guess we could send you. Support Volta Europa. Senate American policy. Balkan diplomacy. Caucasian diplomacy? Well, that probably won't have to do well. Oh, we can do Russo German trade deal. Russia and Germany have enjoyed relatively friendly trade relations since the Schroeder Chancellery. There's no reason for, uh, this in this time or in this Tim. Hmm. If they accept, we better stop. We'll be removed to relations with severe 
but Russia has been severely declined. Alright, Special Forces, you're here to learn as much as you possibly can. I don't think you're going to do very much, but that's alright. Do, do your best. That's all I can ask for. Alright, so what is this? Battalion Flexibility versus Brigade Combat Team. Get more organization, more breakthrough APCs. I'm not sure which one's better. Recovery rate, recovery rate, recovery rate. There's a lot of recovery rate. I prefer organization. I'm not sure if anyone uses recent infantry, special forces, rapid deployment, mission type tactics. Uh, oh, combo with goes up. Oh, that's unique. Brigade support battalion. Versus this side, rendezvous point. A spy usage. Yeah, is this worth doing? Brigade support battalion? Let me know in the comments below, because I really have no idea. So I'm going to go this side. And then we'll do rendezvous point, we'll do lightning strikes, and battle groups. We'll see. Oh, here we go. Help! Wow, what happened here? You are getting smushed. Well, we tried. Oh, Bhutan, I guess, was resisting. Oh, that was fast. You know, we balance economy, but what cost? Many commented on Southeast Asia as China's soft underbelly, with many ASEAN nations being anti-Chinese due to its aggressive actions in the South China Sea. However, one nation is continuously stood by China throughout its many years, the nation of Laos. Although many forget, Laos stands as one of the few communist nations that survived the Cold War, remaining totally committed to the idea of socialism, even the Eastern Bloc collapsed around it. Going into the 21st century, its close ties with Ch both China and Vietnam have moved the country closer to a Marxist socialist model of development, bringing along massive growth and poverty reduction, as well as high inequality. With the new Cold War setting upon Asia, Laos has once again sought to reform its ties with China by formally joining the Chinese led East Asian Defense Initiative. As these battle lines across Asia are being drawn, Laos has no intention of leaving itself undefended and without friends in the midst of chaos. Interesting. Let's do the trade deal, let's see what happens. Oh, trade with the Republic of Turkey. Oh, trade with Romania. Went and removed two cities, cities, and Italy with Hungary. Um, get that construction speed. Slovak Republic. We also are working with trade with the Republic of Bulgaria. Uh, mass par consumers and partial mobilization. We'll probably need to go there. Support Volta Europe or Volta Europa. EU, EU economic integration. Uh, BMVI monthly income goes up. That's not bad. Best in defense contractors. Because Ukraine is not under fire anyways right now. So partial rearmament. We must face the reality of the world. A strong defense is needed. Partial rearmament is a necessity, and there's no reason Poland should have more German tanks in Germany. That's right. Happy 2026, everybody. And then we do here, not really, nothing that would really benefit us. We're going to go here next. All right, everybody, trade. Less than a billion in debt. Modern body armor. Nice. Two transports. I doubt this will do very much for us, but whatever. Proof camouflage. Uh, armor, might not. Go ahead of time, go ahead of time. So we got all that stuff done, which is nice. Special forces, I guess. Why not? We have five research last month. We'll use it. We need more political power. You know, we don't need to do any more... Oh, what is this? Shut down Emsland NPP. Monthly industrial development. Remove... Oh! I didn't know this is a thing. Shut down. Nuclear power plants. Well, too late. Oh, we can still do this one too. Europe united and strong. Well.
Hmm. We'll see. I'm surprised Ukraine is still alive. Are we talking about real life? Are we talking about in game? We'll see. Build, 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 and what? Oh, there you go. So now, with all this done, we are going to start uh, going here. Lower interest rates, monthly inflation, we're going to start working on here. Interest rates will go up, hurting our debt a little bit, but we'll get high interest rates, we can start lowering our inflation more and more and more and more. So that's the next step as we're doing everything else. So we need more political power, but that's pretty normal. How's America looking? It's still looking like a mess. Patriot Fund is slowly getting pushed back. They lost Philadelphia again. Union America is holding on. It's basically almost exactly where it started um, at the beginning of the war. Russian built up on the Polish border. Uh oh. Uh, RSFSR uh, recognizes Donbass, Republics, and Transnistria, of course, and moved that raises alarm bells across the international community. The Russian Soviet uh, Federative Socialist Republic was officially recognized as self proclaimed Republics of Donbass and Transnistria. This recognition has sparked widespread speculation and concerns that Russia may be planning an invasion of Ukraine to solidify its control and potentially restore the former Soviet Union. The RSFSR's recognition of the Donbass Republics and Transnistria comes at a time when tensions between Russia and Ukraine have been escalating. A conflict in eastern Ukraine, particularly in the Donbass region, has been ongoing since 2014 when Russia annexed Crimea. The recognition of these separatist entities by the RSFSR has seen a significant step forward towards legitimizing their claims and potentially justifying further Russian intervention. Many experts and observers fear that this move by the RSFSR could be a precursor to a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, following a pattern of Russian expansionism witnessed in recent years. With Belarus, parts of the Caucasus, and Central Asia already under Russian control, the recognition of Donbass and Transnistria raises concerns that Russia may be seeking to further consolidate its power in the region. Quite troubling. Hope you're putting your soldiers on the border. Proxy armament. EU economic integration? That'd be nice, like I said. But uh, partial rearmament is definitely what we need next. Do we have at least enough anti tank for our divisions? The three brigades. Oh, you have nothing on you. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, my bad. We don't have enough of that. Um, you need at least engineers. Maintenance companies. Eh, that would be nice. Where are the engineers at? Not sure. Let me know in the comments below. What do you use? Oh, here are the engineers. Engineers are usually pretty good. Support RD 31. I don't really hurt your armor anymore. Support anti air. Support rocket artillery. Support repelled. You know, that doesn't really give you that much more soft attack. This gives you actually 31. This actually gives you more. It gives you a little more armor, though. It doesn't hurt you as much. I don't mind logistics too. Gives you actually more defense too. Oh. Less supply use. Maintenance companies. Recon detachment. Oh. You're just too thin to do anything of value. Self propelled artillery. Do we have enough? No, we don't. Motorize. Change it to IFVs. Can we support that? No. Reset that. Give him another self-propelled and then throw on another motorized, at least for now. I think that we can afford that at least. Because the organization is too small. Or too little. As for the tanks, infantry brigades, panzer brigades, we're not using panzer grenadier at all. You guys have engineers, which is great. You got signal companies, which is okay. Um, I wouldn't mind having these guys have maybe maintenance companies just to help out a little bit for maintenance. Logistics are not bad either. Uh, maybe an actual tank company? Hurts your organization though. Gets you more recon. Helps out with armor. Armored recon? Hurts you still. APCs. Mechanized air companies. Helicopter recon really hurts you. Support artillery. Support anti tank. You might need some support anti air. Just in case. Do we have any self propelled AA? No, we don't. Darn it. Anti air. 
Do we have any man pads? Yeah, we do. There you go. Do what you must. Oh, hello. Oh boy. I don't know of us as a NATO block. Actus of resistance, okay. Oh, these guys joined this group here too. Could really take these guys on. I think these guys will be fine. I think, what, if anything, we should probably uh, do small ground operations and encircle and envelop their divisions. Because God knows we can't fight them all on, by ourselves. Trade with Austria. Oh, cities would be nice. Well, we're going to die in the next episode, probably. Caucasian Diplomacy. After Medvedev's invasion of Georgia in 2008, and the prior Abkhazian war that the wall fall the Union, Georgia has been the focal point of contention against Russia and the Caucasian region. Armenia and Azerbaijan have not exactly been wholly obedient to Moscow either. Let us speak to the Caucas Caucasian nations. We may yet win a few friends. Oh, they're all dead. Hey, military development increases, which is great, though. So... I think we'll probably end it there. We're doing all right. We literally have no debt. Inflation is getting worse. But, and uh, America's pretty much going to fall, hmm, I don't know, probably to the APLA. This Patriot Front's not doing so well. Oh, I forgot Mexico's killing itself. That's normal. Um, and Russia's about to go to war with us in the next episode. And China's actually doing really well. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll probably get taken over. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.